This is Raptor News. I will punish that nation. There is not going to be a rapture of the church. Never. The Gentiles were doomed to hell from the jump along with Satan. So if you've been paying attention, you would know that Satan and the Gentiles made a deal with God to live their life on this earth the way that they wanted to for a time, a season and a time. And there, that's why there is a time of the Gentiles. There's not a time of the Hebrews, you know. <laughs> anyway, well, I guess it would be to a, a degree a time to turn to captivity. But that time is to send Satan and the Gentiles to hell. And so what we're going to read today is going to show you that there is no Savior in Jesus Christ and that the nations were to be punished and they are going to get punished. And all it's about is how you treated his people. Genesis fifteen thirteen, And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs and shall serve them. And these strangers shall afflict them for 400 years. The Gentiles will say, We're not doing anything to them. But that ain't what God is saying. God is saying that we are oppressed afflicted and then what does he say after that but I will punish the nation that enslaves them I will punish the nation that enslaves them and afterwards shall they come out with great substance <coughs> captivity was from what August 20th 1619 according to the Gentile to August 20th 2019 meaning what uh, in 15 days time is up that's what that means is their timing right we know GD will is not right right I'm starting slow on this one Deuteronomy 28 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by way where I spake unto you thou shalt see it no more again and there shall you be sold unto your enemies that is going to do what afflict you for 400 years as slaves, bondsmen and bondswomen in captivity for 400 years and no man shall buy you because they're Gentiles. Gin. Four types of gin. Jeremiah 30, 20. Their children also shall be as aforetime and their congregation shall be established before me and I will punish all that oppress them. Everybody that said nigger, treated us bad, would not serve us, called the police on us, shot us, killed us, hanged us, whatever they did to us, God said, I'm punishing them all. Right? Jesus saves though, huh? Okay. Genesis thirty six nineteen. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom. And then you got people like Dahl saying that the white people on his ranch is not Edom or Esau. Lo and behold, God already told you that they were your enemies and these people will afflict you. And he said, the soles of your feet shall have no rest around them. And whatever God say shall be accomplished and done. Uh, and God is not wrong. So it ain't, oh, I don't think it's happening in this case. No, it's happening in every case. Isaiah 34, 8. For it is the day of the Lord's revenge. That's the day of the Lord. When, when is Christ going to save? The year when Edom, that's the white man, will be paid back. That's Esau, will be paid back for everything it did to Israel. So from the jump, <coughs> God is saying what? From the jump. Uh, the nation that enslaves them, I'm going to punish, right? And we know who, who enslaved us. And everybody who oppressed us, you know, I will punish them. I will punish everybody that oppressed us, oppressed them. And we know 
the Arabs, the, the whites, the Chinese, everybody around the whole globe have. For it is the days of, of the Lord's revenge. Edom will be paid back for all that it did to Israel. You ain't going to wash it away in Christ. You ain't going to escape the judgment of God. A lot of these idiots think that the New Testament Jesus Christ washes God away and gives them salvation. It is why you need to pay attention when they say there is no other name under God or under heaven that we Gentiles must be saved by. If we're trying to get saved by the God of Israel, we cannot because he's looking to do us some 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 no good. Uh, we we got to get saved through the blood of Jesus Christ or we as gent they won't never tell the black man the truth about that. You know, it's a made up fictitious white God. It's one of their gods. They think God that's going to be acceptable with God. What is God saying? He bypassing all of their bullshit. He said all the contracts and everything that they made with hell was going to be disannulled. They ain't got no damn sense, man. They retarded. And watch this. I will pay you back for everything that you did to Israel. For the day, and that's Obadiah 115, of the Lord is near upon all the Gentiles. Watch, listen to me, people. All. Upon all. As you have done, it shall be done unto you. Your reward shall return upon your own head. How cruel were you to black people? A lot of Gentiles don't even think they're cruel. They think that, watch this, I just said bluntly, without thinking, the nigger fucking deserved it. That's without thinking. That is how the majority of the entire Gentile world think about black people. They being oppressed, nobody like them. The nigger fucking deserved it. Somebody shot that nigger. I, I saw a whole group of white people laughing at that black man that got shot in the back seven times by that cop. The nigger fucking deserved it. You hanging, the nigger fucking deserved it. White people used to come out in mobs and watch one black man or woman or a couple of black people hang. The nigger fucking deserved it. The KKK, the Nazis, we hate you because you breathe, nigger. Because you breathe. And God is saying what? Th that's why I don't mind saying stuff like that. Uh, it don't offend me. Because of what? What do I know? Uh, uh, racism and all that bullshit, it doesn't offend me. And I don't know if I'm offending people out there, but it don't offend me. You know why? Because I'm not on the punishment side of that bullshit. <laughs> you are. Careful. You know what I mean? You are. So you can think inside your oh, fuck Raptor News. I hate that fucking nigger. Who gives a fuck? Raptor News, uh, God willing, is going to be taken to an awesome place. God willing. Where you going to be? What's in your wallet, right? Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Jeremiah thirty eleven. For I am with you, black man, says the Lord to save you. But I'm making a full end of all the nations where I scattered you. I am making, I am going to kill them all. All these Gentiles I'm going to kill. All these Gentiles I'm going to kill. Somebody please find the blood of Christ. Somebody please sprinkle the blood of Christ on them motherfuckers because they need it. Why is niggas believing in Christ? When you had an everlasting salvation, you stupid motherfucker. So what? What? Watch. Watch out of everlasting. Let's go back up to it. You shall be afflicted for 400 years. You bought the white man's Jesus. That's, that's the name that they must be saved in, which it ain't no salvation in any other gods. That's why God says in the Old Testament, have any of the gods of the Gentiles ever fucking saved their ass? Every time he goes in and kills these Gentiles, he destroys them all. Read the book, man. And afterwards you shall come out with great substance. 
I'm going to save you, black man, but I'm going to listen to God. I am going to save you, black man, but I'm going to make a full end of his ass. For I am with thee, says the Lord, to save you, nigga. And these niggas keep coming to push that fucking white God on me, man. I just want to choke them motherfucking stupid goddamn black Gentiles the fuck out. I'm hoping. It, it seemed like they might get taken, but I'm hoping your asses don't make it. Leave your ass here with the rest. You want to suck on the fucking, you know what? And so you keep sucking it, man. Amos one eleven. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom, which is what? Esau. Which is who? White people. Come on, man. Let's, get, let's come off of it. And for four, I will not turn away their punishment thereof. Because he did pursue his brother Esau, the white man, the Gentile, is the brother of Jacob. Even though they're two nationalities, which is two different types of people, which is two different species. When you know the truth. <coughs> Esau. Is a jinn. Isaac. You know. And Jacob. Are black men. Sons of Adam. Esau. Is the son of the devil. Because he did pursue his brother. With the sword. And what is it say? Jerusalem shall be trampled down by the Gentiles. By the, to the end of the Gentiles you know by the sword and did cast off all pity they didn't feel sorry when they was hanging and crucifying us fleeing out of Jerusalem right and his anger did perpetually and his anger did tear perpetually the white man is always mad at like why are they so mad you have done all this corruption over the whole damn earth and have fucked off the whole earth. And, and and the white men know he have fucked off the whole earth. Why are you why are you mad? Oh, some gangbangers and they stole something out of the fucking store. I mad at all niggers for it. Oh, some gangbangers and they got some white pussy over there. They raped that fucking chick. And I hate all niggers because of it. You looking for a goddamn reason just to fucking hate, motherfucker. Because y'all have fucked off nations. You have watched Israel is no more, you goddamn motherfuckers. Go to our land is no more, you goddamn motherfuckers. Australia is no more. Those people ain't there no more, you goddamn motherfuckers. America is no more. All them Indians is gone, you goddamn motherfuckers. How many motherfuckers have you raped and plunished, pump plummaged? How many motherfucking people shit have you stolen, motherfucker? All our silver and gold and all of our holy shit is gone, motherfucker, with you. And you're mad at some goddamn gangbangers, huh? You stupid motherfuckers. This is why God is saying you ain't gonna be no more. Because what kind of goddamn thinking is that? You should be thinking nobody has done a, a more of a fuck up job around the world than us. Think about that, man. If the black man have went and plummaged everybody's motherfucking land and violated it and shit like you have, I can see you being mad, bitch. Right? Because he did pursue his brother with the sword and cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually. And he kept his wrath forever. So I am not mad. But God saying you are a fucking liar. I don't hate blacks. But God saying you a fucking liar. He said it's some animosity up in that motherfucker. That's your heart. I believe God. Obadiah 1.8 Shall I not in that day, says the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and the understanding out of Mount Esau? I mean, you're going to die dumb. You are going to die dumb. Jesus going to come get you, huh? Jesus going to come get you, huh? He's going to he gonna use his J-Pass 
to bypass the Most High God of Israel, huh? So he can say to Gentiles that God said he going to destroy. Listen, man. God damn it, man. Look. Look, 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 look. I am going to make a full end of all the Gentiles where I have scattered thee. Right? A full end of all of them. Where, how can Jesus come save you? He gonna Jesus is gonna make a liar out of God. Do y'all have no sense? That's why he said all y'all wisdom is gone. All the wise men out of Edom is gone, cause you need a savior that goddamn bad, don't you? Cause you know you ain't got one in God. And then he said, "What? Every motherfucking white person that forgot God, I'm gonna turn you into the flames of hell." You will become hell. That's what he said. Ezekiel um, 25, 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord of God. You don't know God's vengeance. The black man do. You know, other nations know God's vengeance. But you don't really understand punishment, Gentile. You know, and, and I'm speaking true. I'm not speaking racism, hate, anything. It's just pure, unadulterated, raw truth. Jeremiah 49, 17. Also, Edom shall be a desolation uh, after Jesus save. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished. Malachi 1 3. Esau is Edom, right? And I hated Esau. Meaning what? I hate Edom. He gonna send his one and only begotten goddamn motherfucking son, you stupid bitches. And say motherfuckers he hate. How dumb can y'all be? That's why all the intelligence is gone out of Edom. All the wisdom, all the wise men and understanding has dissipated. I hate you motherfuckers, man. That's God. That's not rap the news. And laid your mountains and your heritage waste, Gentile destroyer. It ain't a Hebrew destroyer. You gotta really give this stuff some thought, man. Obadiah 118. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Israel. And he said, your name will be remembered no more. You know why? Because you said, let us wipe Israel out as a nation so that they be remembered no more. And God is saying what? It ain't going to be any remaining of Esau, which is what? Edom. For the Lord has spoken it. Oh, don't tell me they're going to be um, lollygagging with Jesus in, in Jesus' kingdom, huh? Do y'all really believe that mystical shit? Then y'all little kids, man, with fantasy as Barney Five freaking Teletubby minds. Proverbs eleven twenty one, though hand in hand, though you join hand in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. You don't get a J pass with Jesus, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The black man gonna get delivered, and the wicked gonna do what? get his ass tax collected in the worst possible way <coughs> the fire be for you all you're not understanding that that's how severe God gonna be with you you had all this time to, to, to wickedly uh, hold his back down and under the thumb and now the punishment has come Proverbs 16 5 everyone that is proud in his heart is an abomination to the Lord and y'all base y'all shit off of pride and, and, and uh, uh, what they call it, high self-esteem. It ain't nothing but fucking pride. You teach your kids to have high, you don't even want to whoop your kids because you don't want to bring them down in any type of way. And all y'all going to burn up you and them little bastards. That's black, white, yellow, green, and brown. Though, though hand in hand they be, he shall not be unpunished. And so, what do we what do we have coming? 
Look at the damn date, you motherfuckers, man. Time is up. God is on his way to avenge his people. When he come deliver us, the day of the Lord is near. Your asses is at hand. Your asses will be handed to you. Every last one. And then what did God say? There's only one way that you could be savable. Bless Israel. Bless Israel. Because he said, however you have treated Israel is how you shall be treated. Again, it is, is the, it is the day of the Lord revenge where Edom will be paid back for all that it did to Israel. It works two ways. If you did good to Israel, you will be paid that back. If you did e evil, you will be paid that back. Right? And then he says it again, because you don't want to hear. You want some easy Jesus way out of it. Oh, fucking let bygones be bygones, and these niggers need to just get over it and shit. It ain't us you have to worry about getting over it. Tell God to get over it. Who said he gonna destroy all y'all wicked asses because of that shit? Tell God to get over it. Let's see you do that. For the day of the Lord is upon all the Gentiles. Black, white, yellow, green, and brown. Tell God to get over it. And as, as thou have done, it shall be done unto you. A murderer, you gonna get your ass killed. Oh, you a nigger hating motherfucker. Oh boy. Huh? That day, all the hate and rage inside of you is coming for your own ass. Now, if you are who you say you are, I, I'm not racist. I've never hated any niggers. You know. Well, bless your sweetheart, honey. Bless your sweetheart, honey. Uh, you must got all good coming to you, goody goody. You know, <laughs> bless your fucking sweetheart, man. You know, I like to see you because every fucking Gentile that I see, I believe, hates me. Hates my fucking guts. But rap the news can be wrong, but God said you was all my enemies. I just believe God. So y'all really tell me what y'all think. Tell me if, if you're the goody goody one. Who you never really had problems with blacks and stuff like that. You know, you never used the word nigger and a bunch of hate. Because God said everything that you said against us and did against us will be used against you in the court of his law. This is Raptor News.